Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. In today's lesson, we'll talk about cash purchase. So we just go to SQL purchase module, then cash purchase is over here. Cash purchase is actually same with purchase invoice. So the only difference is when we do the cash purchase, we can directly make the payment in the cash purchase instead of do the supplier payment in supplier module. So basically when you come into cash purchase, you can see all the cash purchase transaction in this listing. You can search by uh, different criteria such as the purchase number. Okay, if you do not remember the number, can you remember the company name or else? You can actually do a field chooser by right click any of the column title, field chooser, drag up the criteria that you want to use, for example, area, and search accordingly. So to create a new cash purchase, click on the new button and select your supplier, for example, like this. When I type, when you type the um, supplier name, it will come up. It's because the focus, can you see that is at company name is bold. So if one day you tell me, Brian, when I type my supplier name, it does not come up. It's because your focus run away to another column. Now it's at company name too. So basically what you do, you clear off what you have typed. Click on the tab key on your keyboard. It will shift to another column. Tap again, shift, tap again. It will go to your company name. So type your supplier name. Then same thing, do it for your item. And you can see that if you want, if you uh, have key in transaction in previous document, you can go to cash purchase, right click. You can actually transfer from purchase request, purchase order, or even goods received. So this is how you key in your item. Okay, remember you must key in the cash purchase as per your supplier invoice or supplier uh, cash bill. So you type in the number, the date and everything. The only difference is at the bottom here. Okay, the payment part. This is where you key in the payment to that supplier. So you click on the payment by. So this is your bank and also your cash account which you are uh, maintain under GL chart of account current asset. So let's say we use Maybank. So we can put in the check number. So here is the amount that you want to pay. Normally it's let's say it's fully payment two three three point two zero. So when you save it, you can see that the system actually will create a payment voucher PV zero 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 five two which is the system will automatically go to post to supplier payment 5.2 right and it helps you to knock off with the invoice or the cash purchase so this is how you create a cash purchase in SQL accounting system if you have time do drop by at my facebook it's facebook.com slash syntax technologies Please help my help me to like my page or go to my website syntech.com.my go to YouTube and you can have all the other SQL tutorial video over here. So that's all for today. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.